Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hand of Fate 2. In the previous episode we took on the High Priestess in hard mode. And after a few attempts to manage to beat it, unlocking, if I can find it, the Absolved Plight. Was not easy, but hey, we pulled it off. And in this episode, we'll be taking on the Empress Hard Mode. In order to make this Hard Mode, you need to have the Encrusted Mace. In order to unlock the Encrusted Mace, you need to complete the token for Dark Thirst, which requires that you kill 50 uh, Corrupted with that mace. The best way I've found to go about that is in the Magician Challenge. I know that may seem odd, why not go for one in the later areas? Well, there's a reason for that. One, the choices of carts that you can travel with at the beginning to get to West Wend are a Weaponsmith, which guarantees to give you a weapon, a Food Cart, which gives you food, and a Stone Mason, which gives you gold. Make sure in your equipment that the only weapon that you have is the Dark Thirst. That way, you're guaranteed to get it right away, and thankfully, you don't need any fame to wield it. After that, in terms of encounters, just stack your deck with anything that can get you combat with the uh, Corrupted. Oh, by the way, during the process, not sure if it happened here or in the previous video, well, here as in, in the farming, but uh, I managed to beat Thomas the Ogre in all his games. He got mad, claimed I was cheating, and threw me out. Oh well. Anyways, as for the Empress, this is hard mode because you need to gain a lot more fame than you did with Ethra's ire. Well, recommendation that I've seen, or a tip that I've seen, is to get Goblin Town, go for a ton of gold, then use the Silver Deer to try and change that gold into fame. The problem with that is that requires a lot of luck. One, in that you get Goblin Town before you get Silver Deer, which is why I have Forgotten Dreams. And two, in that you will actually get the gold to fame change. Because you could always get gold to food, food to gold, food to fame, etc, etc, etc. Outside of that, just stack your deck with anything that can give you fame. Duel, uh, Winding Trail, Burning Building, or Deal by Iron. Uh, I think Fame and Shame might also give you some. I have no idea. I've also tossed in the Feast of Callus, because, you know, that's a thing. Uh, as for equipment, well, anything that can give you fame is good. But there really isn't that much beyond the Executioner's Axe, and obviously you need to have the Encrusted Mace. Beyond that, there's really not much you can do. So, let's get this started. Oh, by the way, for companions, I'm going with Malakalips, and for supplies, I'm going with extra food, because, you know, that's always good. A hammer fit for a champion, passed down through the generations, and they hand it to you without so much as a question. You have a look about you that inspires trust. Raiders have destroyed our village. They were sent by a dark shaman of the north. They were searching for this. He draws a large hammer from his cloak, encrusted mace. Tis the only weapon that will break the seal protecting their encampment. He hands you the weapon. Yeah, Lack you can see. Caution opens you to all sorts of influences. You can see why this is hard mode. You need 80 fame in order to wield this. Oh boy. The weapon is heavier than you imagine. Perhaps weighed down by some hidden magic preventing you from wielding it to its potential. Because Encrusted Mace is in the deck, the Empress will be harder. You acquire 80 fame by to equip this weapon. Earn fame by completing encounters. Yay. Alright, let's get going. All basic northerners are brimstone. The dealer adds more frost monster cards to the deck. 
joy. I see you have returned with a plan to deal with the shaman permanently. Yeah. You must find the courage to wield this weapon and defeat the shaman before the last village falls. Beware naysayers, for they do not believe in heroes, in virtue. But without heroes, I fear this world is lost. All the kings rode to the town of Braden. The people there are surely in danger and must be warned. Thank you. I trust the sacrifice of Talos not go in vain, he bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. Oh boy. Yeah, let's help her out. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Got some extra resources, always good. That gold is gonna help. Gain a little extra fame. Okay then. Ooh, if we can get the silver deer now, that would be incredible. Well, Silver Deer, and get the Thames ship. Alright, let's take this guy on. He's a captain, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. That'll get us some good fame. But seriously though, if I could get the gold swap for fame from the Silver Deer right now, that would be awesome. Hmm, tempting as it is, no. And hell no, I am not selling the encrusted mace, I need that. And it's just a few trappers, not too much of a threat. I'm no happier to be here than you lot. Shame that Bola couldn't save his friend. That's the thing, trappers not supported by any other enemies are kind of weak. Well, she's he says having gotten a hit a couple of times. But that's just from my own impatience. Cause they wrap the bola around you, but they don't capitalize on that. Not giving up my gold. Not when I'm so close to gaining what I need. I'll handle the little one, you deal with the rest, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And 
down they go. Yeah, despite it being made hard mode, I get the feeling it's only really gonna get difficult during the boss fight and perhaps during the village saving stage. I'm gonna let them go free. Because we can't entirely rely on that silver deer for this. We do need to gain fame. Well, on to the next village. Trappers and Three of Frost. I'm gonna focus on the Three of Frost because, like I said, trappers are only really a threat when they have somebody to back them up. And we need to protect the Three of Toil for this. If we want to maximize our gains, that is. them taken care of. Focus on the trappers who really are, again, are not a threat. Took a lot more damage than that than I would have liked, but eh, that's what I get for being cocky. Thank you for Thank you, hero. You have saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. Please accept this small token of our gratitude. It is not time to celebrate. They are surely mustering to raid the town of Terran. They point further south, down the riverbank. If you are a true hero, you will surely save them. With another village lost to the northerners, you set out for the next town without delay. You need to hurry before they destroy all the villages. It was your actions that necessitated these additions to the game, you understand. I knew you were approaching and tailored things around your lust for fame. You follow the sound of hammering into the town hall. Inside, a tiny man stands atop a stool, chipping away at a row of marble sculptures. Impressive, is it not? Sir Malafowl of Kader is a great patron of the arts. You could be too. Oh boy. Do I spend the 20 gold? Yeah, screw it. Oh great, and we got a card game to deal with. Which thankfully I succeed at. Sometime later you return to see the finished project. An exact replica of you stands in the town hall among sculptures of nobles. I guarantee such a status symbol will, will earn you great admiration from the people of the Empire, says the sculptor. You gain 12 fame. Now, let's see, how much can I sell that Berserker's Creed for? 12 gold. Eh, it'll make up for what I've sold, what I spent. Not quite, but it'll definitely get me close. And let's cook a little food just to heal up a bit. There, that should be enough. This one remains your business. I am not yet ready to confront the usurper. The town of Wickaburn celebrates the Feast of Callus in honor of the great adventurer who rid their town of Ratman a century ago. Children dressed as goblins dance around the bonfire. Even the local lord has made an appearance dressed as the great adventurer Callus himself. You arrive just in time for the jousting tournament. Adelard the Pale, a pompous knight with a reputation for debauchery, is calling for a worthy opponent. You sign up to put him in his place. 
With one look at your attire, the hostess takes you to a changing tent, stocked with equipment belonging to other knights. You are not going to survive in that outfit. Also, Adelard is a pig, so I'd like to see him felled. Quickly, grab something before they see us. Ah, uh, piece of armor? Hey, I got my Berserker's Creed back. Sweet. Good choice. The hostess helps you dress. Once you've saddled up, you and Adelard, the Pale, bring your horses to a gallop and get ready to strike. Patience. Do not move too quickly, for haste ah. needs only failure. You throw the timing and your lance misses Adelard completely. His lance, however, lands straight and true. Not a proper shield or protective armor. There's an audible crack as Sir Adelard's lance smacks into your body, bowling you off your horse. I had armor on. Yeah, whatever. Townsfolk cheer at your folly. You hobble away to tend to your wounds. Oh well. Yet another distressed damsel. Fine. Have yet to see that silver deer, though. Well done. You continue to impress. Oh boy, two villages remain after this. And we've got berserkers. Yay. I need to keep the, all their attention on me because there's no way the villagers are going to survive against berserkers. By sea and sun, fate and fame. Yeah! Thankfully, the villagers do get their own guns at some point. So they can be effective in some way. Them taking care of all its leftover trappers. Though, as we have seen, they can still directly attack the peasants at the very least. One of them died, but we still managed to save the others, so that'll still get us some fame. Two villages remain. I think I'm gonna sell off the armor. Deal by iron. Very well. Ah, shoot. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. I want to bet that the silver deer is only going to be found on the very last stage, which wouldn't surprise me. Alright, got a tyrant, three regulars, and two trappers.
through that without a scratch. Good. Let's continue on our way. Waterfall of Youth. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Great. Let's brave the fire. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. You okay, got one of the toil? Let's see what you do with that. Given your position, got another toil. Just need one more. Ooh. Let's try this again. Just barely. Got a bunch of fame, but oh boy. Now we haven't hit the forgotten realm got dreams, so we might still be able to pull this off. It won't be easy, and there is a great risk, but we could still pull this off. survive. Yeah, they're all already dead. Then what did you expect when you're dealing with this many powerful enemies? Maybe if the Berserkers had been supplanted with some trappers, it could have worked out. But that wasn't the case.
That was way too close. Failed to save any peasants. Oh boy. Last village. And I've lost pretty much any chance of getting 80 fame except for one final chance. Can you claim this token? I have little trust in artifacts that breathe myself. Ah, so close. <laughs> hmm. What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. You raise your shield at the last moment. The lance blow sends a tremor up your arm, but you stay firm on your horse. Brasher Adelard is not expecting such resistance. He's thrown from his saddle by the momentum of his own blow. Huh, you have won the joust. Nicely done. Well, at least we got something. Flowers and gold are pressed into your hands for your incredible victory over Sir Adelard the Pale. What an exciting end to this Feast of Callous Day, the Lord proclaims. Okay, this might be our one chance. Let's get the silver deer. Although, let's see. No, that would only take me up to 70 if I were to take the fame and shame. I think it's the middle card. No. Oh, I still have a chance. Gee, I wonder which card it is. Well, may as well buy some food. Let's see. As long as I don't buy too much. Duel. Against a brimstone captain. Oh boy. too happy. And this guy just keeps coming back for more, doesn't he? Enough! Your opponent steps back. I don't have time for this nonsense. The tavern crowd cheers for your victory, and tales of your battle are told and retold, your prowess growing with each telling. Hmm. If I could get ten more fame, I might be able to pull this off without needing the silver deer. Ah, crap. I forgot to switch back over to my shield. Oh well. There's no tyrants or berserkers among the crowd. Why do you keep getting us into these situations?
Into fame. Oof. And Waterfall of Beauty yet again. So I am going to need that deer and pray that nothing swaps with my food. Because if it swaps with food, I am screwed. Of course, I gotta succeed at this first. That will set you in good stead from here. Let's see, offering some cake. Bones does. So, in other words, I am essentially screwed. Only one village remains. If it ends up destroyed, then I lose the challenge. It's so close, too. Look at my fame. <sighs> okay, I am going to cut the recording here, and I will be back once I have acquired the fame that I need. See you guys whenever that happens. Okay, everybody, we are back. Uh, I managed to pull off the original plan of getting a ton of gold and then hitting the silver deer. Man, finally managed to get it to succeed. And we have gained the fame that we need. You turn the encrusted mace over in your hands. The tendrils of corruption bubble and blacken, spreading across the surface and forming a large mass on the weapon's head. It is unclear if it now weighs less, or you have found newfound strength. But either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. Malaklips looks on in awe. Wow, that would earn a pretty m penny at the markets. But, uh, first let's use it to break the barrier to the Northern Raiders camp, slay the shaman, and stop the raids. Once and for all. Remembering the Elder of Talos' instructions, you set out toward the Sanctum of the Shaman. Yep. Uh, along the way, I actually managed to get the Executioner's Axe from the very same event. Helped me out with gaining some fame, not that it really mattered in the end. Also had the Winter's Vit Bane. Very useful against the Northerners. But in this instance, I have to use the Encrusted Mace. Now let's see. My life is as at maximum as it's gonna get. May as well see if there's any equipment in the form of armor that I can get. Stunted healing. The rate enemies heal during combat is reduced. Not what I'm looking for, but that can be useful considering we're going up against a shaman. In the woods, they still know magic. It will be lost their last. I'm as healthy as I'm gonna get. I've got the encrusted mace equipped. So, let's do this. It is as the Talos Elder said, Malacalypse remarks. The Shaman's Sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Best you try that hammer. You raise the encrusted mace above your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. The hammer finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling winds spin you this way and that, then vanish as quickly as they had appeared. Disoriented, you look all around for Malocalypse, but he is nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing covered in newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see Kolbjorn, who nods a silent greeting. He stands with his weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Then you see her, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns, small straw pleated charms and oddities hang from the trees behind her. Before her kneel countless raiders who worship their leader in an eerie stillness. The defender of villages and the exiled one, the shaman says with a hiss. She steps down from her throne. I know why you have come. How dare you bring encrusted mace to this place? Shouldn't it be the encrusted mace? Let this end. Do not expect this to end with the death of the shaman. This time her minions will fight to the last. They know what is at stake for her. She can never return if felled in the presence of the encrusted mace. You ready your weapon as the shaman and her clansmen surround you. Let's do this.
Raid Leader Gerda. Raid Leaders are the front line of the Northern Assault, centers of tactical and religious guidance. The Shaman can cast spells, the Shaman casts spells that heal her allies. Attack her quickly to interrupt the spell. I do not know. Yet we will fight. Stand clear of my blades, and I will stand clear of yours. Strange that she has yet to teleport away. Oh, I have to, I still have to finish her. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Yeah, after that, it's just a matter of taking these guys down. Really, it's not too difficult to fight. The real challenge from all this comes from getting the fame you need. Take out everybody else, defend yourself from the tyrant when necessary, and beyond that, yeah, just stay alive. Basically treat it as you would any other fight. Ah, darn it. Of course he'd hang on with one health before I get struck. Basically what this thing is supposed to do is it's supposed to create an aura that I believe increases damage against enemies. But doesn't work on corrupted because, well, kind of obvious reasons. But anyways, that is it. We have beaten the Empress hard mode. Let's see how this plays out. Stand on the edge of one of my little secrets. The shaman's body writhes as a dark spirit leaves her chest. Before it can escape into the aether, encrusted mace trembles in your hand. The corrupted weapon boils in bubbles, drawing the spirit towards it. With a final shriek, the spectral shaman is absorbed into the hammerhead, trapped. As the skies clear, the sun beams down upon Kolbjorn. At last, the spirit is truly banished. This time, with the aid of you and your hammer, he continues, she will not return. You and I have cleared yet another small part of the stain from my honor this day. He reaches out a massive hand and clasps your forearm. Let us head back and find your friend. And with that, you and Kolbjorn make your way back through the forest in search of Malacalypse. I have chosen well. You have the resilience to keep looking even beyond the obvious. This token has been well earned. Reclaiming the soul of the shaman with the encrusted mace, we gain the Devil's Touch. It's essentially the same as the encrusted mace, except it doesn't require exorbitant amounts of fame to claim it. And it also, uh... And it also has a slight reduction in its power from 200% to 150%, but still. With that, we have, to my memory, beaten all of the hard mode challenges. Yeah, those are pretty much the only three. With nothing else holding us back, and though, yes, I do know that there is a bunch of brimstone cards we haven't finished, I might get to them some other time, but right now I'd like to finish the story. Anyways, with nothing else left, we will take on the world in the next episode. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, 
Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.